this video looks at how we can use integration by substitution to integrate a more complex looking integral. Now, if we have to integrate a function of this form, we can let u equal the function within the square root in this case. So if I let u equal 3x minus 2. Now we have a dx there, so I need a du, so I'm changing the variable. So if I find du by dx, i.e. differentiate, I get du by dx equals 3. So therefore if I cross multiply and rearrange, I get du over 3 equals dx. So I've now found dx in terms of du. So if I look at this integral here, I've got the integral of 1 over the square root of u, and dx has become du over 3. However, because I've changed from the x to the u, I must also change the limits. Now, when x equals 1, u equals 3 times 1 take away 2, which is also 1. But when x is 2, 3 times 2 is 6, take away 2 is 4. So my limits have changed, my variable has also changed from x to u. Now I can then do the following. There's a factor of a third, which I will pull out, an integral of 1 to 4. I can write 1 over u as u to the power of minus a half du. So if I now integrate this, I add 1 to the power to get u to the power of a half, and then divide by a half, which is the same as times in by 2 over 1. There's a factor of a third here, and the limits are between 1 and 4. So effectively, it is a third times 2, it's 2 thirds, u to the half, between 1 and 4. I now put the value of 4 and 1 in, find the difference. So, I've got 2 thirds, that's my factor. I've got 4 to the power of a half, minus 1 to the power of a half. Now a half just means square root, so it's 2 thirds, 2, take away 1, which is 2 thirds of 1, which is 2 thirds, as required.